of the addition to the shape or form of the meter. If you pay addition shape or form of the meter, when your perception change, the meter also will be changed. Sometimes it may be round, sometimes it may be long, sometimes it may be big, sometimes it may be small. So if limiter is always changing, then concentration will decrease. Because of this reason, you should not pay addition to the form of limiter. How you should pay addition? You should pay addition as breadth or limiter only. You should not be addition to the characteristic. There are two types of characteristic. The characteristic of four elements and the characteristic of a nature to another. When you are practicing anabana or when you are focusing on the new meter, you should not be addition to the four elements characteristic such as hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness, flowing, cohesion, heat, uh, heat and cold, heat and coldness, subbody and pushing. These are four elements characteristics. If you pay addition to these characteristics, your meditation will be four elements meditation, not anabana meditation. So, kamatana meditation object will be changing. Because of this reason, you should not be addition to the current directory of four elements also. Especially when you are practicing anabana from the Touching point, you should not pay attention to any other object, especially in your body. If you pay attention in your body, you, you can clearly see the characteristics of four elements. If you are practicing four elements meditation, you can pay attention to the characteristics of four elements. But if you want to practice anabana, you should not pay attention to the current direction of four elements. Another important fact is you should not also contemplate the natural breath, in breath, nature, out breath, nature, etc. Or nimida as nature, or doga, or anada. If you contemplate the natural breath as nature, doga, anada, the contemplation of nature to Kananda is Vipassana insight. Natural breath is not the object of Vipassana insight. If you can design four elements in your natural, upright, uh, natural breath, then when your concentration develops further, then you can see small particles. If you analyze these small particles, in each small particle there are nine types of material D, such as earth element, water element, fire element, wet element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, and breathing sound. So these nine types of material D are ultimate material D. These ultimate material D are the object of Vipassana insight. You can contemplate them as Nichatoka and Dada because as soon as they arise, they pass away very, very quickly. So they are Nicha. They are always oppressed by rising and passing away, so they are Dukkha, suffering. There is no permanent entity, permanent substance. So they are Nada, no self, no, no Ada. But without seeing Adimi materiality, if you contemplate natural breath as nature dukkha anatta, this is not real vipassana, this is only just superficial. So you should not contemplate the natural breath as nature dukkha anatta also. When you are concentrating on the nimitta, you should not do much emphasis on the nimitta. If you emphasize too much on the nimitta, 
then you may see small particles, clubbers. If you see clubbers, these are not your meditation object. At the day, if you want to practice Anabana Abdu Jhana stage, then please relax your mind. Slowly, small body gas will disappear and the Nimeda as a compactness. You will see Nimeda as a compactness. And then, then please focus on the Nimeda as Nimeda or as breath. When you are focusing on the natural breath or Nimeda, three important patterns must be present in your mind. Number one is Chanda Z. Strong, powerful desire to concentrate on the Nimeda is very important. If you are desire to concentrate on the Nimeda becomes less, then Nimeda will disappear. So, at the day, strong, powerful desire or Z is necessary. Number two is PD Rapcha. When you are concentrated on the Nimeda, you must concentrate on the Nimeda with Rapcharas mind. If there is no Rapcharas mind, then laziness will overwhelm to your mind. When laziness overwhelm to your mind, then your concentration will decrease and Nimeda also will disappear. So, because, because of this reason, Rapcharas mind is also important. Number three is Sukha, happiness, happy feeling. When you are concentrated on the Nimeda, that happiness also must be present. Nimeda, that happiness also must be present. If you have no happy feeling, then concentration also will be dull. Dull means concentration cannot develop further. But if you concentrate on the Nimeda with happy feeling, then concentration will de improve slowly. When your concentration improves, then slowly Nimeda also will become increased. Increase means from the gray smoking color to white color. Gray smoking color Nimeda is called Parigamba Nimeda, preliminary sign. White color Nimeda like cotton wool is called Ogaha Nimeda, Lane sign. There may be different colors of Nimeda depending on perception of meditator. If meditator's perception change, the color of Nimeda also may change. But because of this reason, you should not emphasize color, you should pay attention as Nimeda only. While you are concentrated on the white color Nimeda, when your concentration develops further, then slowly Nimeda will become transparent body. Like morning star. That transparent Nimeda is called Padi Bhaga Nimeda Kaudapa sign. The Padi Bhaga Nimeda Kaudapa sign is the object of excess concentration, Uvachara Samadhi, as well as the object of Jhana concentration, absorption concentration.
What is the difference between excess concentration and jhana absorption concentration? At the moment of excess concentration stage, frequently going up mind movement appears, form falls down. But in excess in uh, absorption concentration stage, there are no going up mind states. Why? Because in excess concentration stage, five jhana factors are not so, so strong enough to maintain concentration for a long time. But in absorption concentration stage, five jhana factors become powerful. Because of this reason, strong powerful jhana factors can maintain absorption concentration for a long time. Because of this reason, when meditator reach absorption concentration stage, he can maintain his jhana concentration more than one hour, two hour, three hours, etc. But at the excess concentration stage, because, because of going up my state, then he cannot maintain his concentration for a long time. What are Panchana Pandas? Vindaga, Vijara, Piti, Sukha, Ekakata. Vindaga is initial obligation of the mind to the Anabana Patibhaga Nimitta object. Vijara is the sustained obligation of the mind to the Anabana Patibhaga Nimitta object. Piti is rapture on the Anabana Patibhaga Nimitta object. Sugha is happy, happy feeling of Anabana Paribhaga Nimitta object. Umbhaga uh, Ekagata is one point and less on the Anabana Paribhaga Nimitta object. When you are concentrating on the Anabana Paribhaga Nimitta, count up by side. You should try Full absorption concentration many times. You should enter into jhana frequently for a long time. You should not reflect jhana patterns frequently. If you reflect jhana patterns frequently, jhana patterns will become cross. When jhana patterns become cross, your concentration will decrease. So, because of this reason, Beginners should not be entered into jhana many times. Replanting jhana pada must be less. In this way, we saw the mega, the path of purifications, give instruction. Therefore, you should try to concentrate on the Anabana Bhadibhaga Nimitta. Eh? You should enter jhana absorption at least successfully for three days. In each city, you should try you have full absorption concentration at least two or three hours. After that only you should reflect jhana patterns. How you should reflect jhana patterns? We will discuss next time. Hmm? If there is any question, then you can ask. Those who want to ask questions can come up.
There's a microphone at the walkway. On the walkway. Oh, or you, you can also write down your question on the on the sheet of paper and uh, hand it to to me. Sada, when we practice this, uh, must our sila must be be perfect, and uh, our defilements must be clear. Yeah. When we practice all this uh, anapanasati, must the sila must be perfect. Okay. And uh, must our defilements uh, be totally clear? That means free from defilement. To Delhi is not easy. <laughs> 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 really, there are noble eightfold parts. Hmm? Among noble eightfold parts, samavacha. Right speech, sama gamanda, right action, sama ajiwa, right livelihood. These three padas are the training of morality. So, if you can accept noble apple path leading to the cessation of suffering, then you must try to purify your bhaju. Hello, while you are practicing meditation, at least you must try to purify your bhaju. Pike Henry, when you are practicing Anabana, Pike hindrances are the enemy. If you can remove Pike hindrances, then your concentration will develop. One or two or many of hindrances are visiting to your mind, then your concentration will decrease. But totally to destroy the parliaments is if you attain a hard stage, and then that only it is possible. <laughs> but now in this stage, if you can remove temporarily, it is okay. Hmm? This question is if uh, if we practice metta bhavana uh, very well, will we also also have a uh, light? Nimitta. Metta bhavana. If we practice uh, metta bhavana very well, will we have light? No real nimida, as if nimida only. <laughs> Meaning is, number one, there are four types of persons. Number one is adapt to yourself. Number two is pia diyawas. Number three is michada neutral ones. Number four is weary enemies or hatred persons. You must send meta these four types of persons gradually up to but jana stage. If you can, if you send meta to yourself, you cannot attain jana. But the other three types of persons, dia ones, neutral ones, and enemies, or hatred ones. If you send meta to these three types of persons, you should try always to attain up to that jana. If you practice in this way again, again, one day when you are when the bhavana become powerful, then these four types of persons to yourself, dear ones, neutral ones, and hatred ones will become equal. If they become equal, and this equality is called as if nimitta only, <laughs> not real nimitta. Why? In this case, nimitta means the cause of powerful metta only. What is the powerful meta? If you can send meta to the all individuals, all beings, up to infinite universe, and if you attain up to that jhana stage, such type of meta is powerful. Such type of meta can produce to be reborn in Brahmawa. So, the previous hmm? Nimida, as if Nimida means if you send Meda to yourself, dear ones, neutral ones, and eh, enemies equally, that equivalent eh, we call this is breaking boundary, breaking barrier. Hmm? That breaking boundary or barrier of Meda is called for higher powerful Meda, supporting cause. Because of this reason, this is also called Nimida. In this case, Nimida means the cause of higher powerful matter. Okay. Uh, 
One question. The third question. Uh, good evening, Bande. When you see the Dimita is bright, spinning, uh, spinning right in front of you, I cannot seem to concentrate on my breath. When my eyes started to flicker, how should I solve this problem? Thank you. Uh, I think his question is something like this. Uh, when, when he sees the Nimita, uh, when the Nimita is bright and is spinning, something like turning in front, of, uh, in front of him, he can't concentrate on uh, the breath and the, and the eye also started to flicker. Mm. So how should he solve uh, this problem? You should not pay attention to your eye. Please pocket eye. If you focus on the natural breath with your eye, before Nimida is coming, this habit produces such problem. So because of this reason, when you are practicing Anapana, please forget your eye. You should focus on your natural breath by mentally only. If you focus with your eye to the natural breath with closed eye, then this habit will produce such problems. Hmm? Another is, Nimida is another, the breath is, uh, the light of wisdom is another. If the light of wisdom is a little bit far away from your nostril or upper lip, other than if you focus on the light, then that light is not your meditation object. But for some meditators, they say they cannot focus on the breath object at that time. It is impossible. <laughs> you are my has power, mental power. You are mental power can choose every object. For example, when you are practicing with Vipassana, sometimes you practice, sometimes you contemplate a demon materiality as Nija, sometimes Dhoka, sometimes Nada. You can change. Sometimes you contemplate mentality, ultimate mentality. Sometimes nature, sometimes yoga, sometimes another. You can change. It is impossible not to change. You cannot change. It is impossible. So you are my have power. You should use your will power in this case. If you give up, oh, I cannot concentrate. I cannot concentrate. If you give up in this way, your concentration cannot develop further. I will try. Buddha teach in this way. If you have enough confidence to the Buddha's teaching, then you shall focus. It is possible. Without impossible, uh, if it is impossible, Buddha will never teach. So you shall have enough confidence in the Buddha's teaching. Although the, uh, his eyes are closed, uh, he sees full of white light. But the light is not at the nostril. It's only uh, in just covering the whole area in front of him. Is that the uh, nimitta or light of wisdom? The light of wisdom only. No, nimitta. nimitta is coming out from the nostril. Especially our breath is bigger nimitta. The light of wisdom is everywhere, in every direction surrounding your body. So here, a little bit far away, this is the light of wisdom. What is the light of wisdom? You are concentrated at night, can produce, mind produce materiality. Among these materiality, there are eight types of, in each club, there are eight types of materiality. Among these eight types, there is fire element, Dejo. That Dejo is called temperature, Udu. That temperature can produce new clubs, new generations, successfully for a long time. If you analyze these clubs, in each club there are also eight types of materiality. Among these eight types, there is also color. That color also bright depending on your concentration. When your concentration, become powerful. The wisdom faculty which is associated with that concentration also become powerful. When concentration and wisdom faculty become power, then 
that which then Pagalagi can produce such from powerful light. But this temperature produced Kalabas light is not only internally but also externally. Because of this reason, if you see a little bit powerful from your face, one type of color, that color is temperature produced materiality only. The color of temperature produced materiality. This is not this is the light of which are only not the limited. Is there a possibility when an intense outreaching PD occur before even a sign a nimitta comes? If the updating PD is so strong, it will distract uh, breath breathing concentration. Okay. Then how can we further develop concentration towards nimitta? Uh, I have to before before uh, before the nimitta appears. Is it possible to have a very intense uh, pity, possible. very strong pity? Possible, possible. Uh, and uh, if the if the pity is so strong that it uh, distract the concentration, that means uh, he cannot concentrate well on the breath. Then how? How should he continue to further develop concentration so that he can uh, have a limit? According to the Buddha's teaching, at the time you must practice the enlightenment practice of investigation. This is Vipassana. But now you are practicing only Samatha. You cannot practice Vipassana. So because of this reason, you cannot directly contemplate this pity as nature to Kanada. But by imagination or by superficially, you can contemplate this pity also as nature to Nada. Then slowly, this pity will decrease. By the way, is other than you should neglect your pity. You should emphasize only Pasadi Samadhi Upaka. Firstly, is tranquility of mental bo- mind and mental body. Samadhi is concentration on your meditation object such as anapana or breath. Ubaga is equanimous mind to your object only. If you can increase these three types of enlightenment pada, Pasadi, Samadhi, Ubaga, then PD will decrease. Oh,我的第一个问题是，呃，尝试可不可以，呃，再重复一下刚才那个，呃，就是第二种熟悉的方法，气息的方法，第二次，第二个。嗯，呃，你，you uh, rather ask the Sado to to repeat again, to repeat the second types of uh, counting, breath, counting the breath. Breathing so, in while you are breathing in, please try. One, 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 up to the end, from the beginning to the end. Then breathe it out, one, 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 up to the end. And this way you should try to count. This way of counting is called great measurers counting. When the farmers are measuring their grey with a basket, hmm? they put to pull their basket. At that time they count one, 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 up to full stage, also one. Then they pour up. And then they also not yet finished, they count one, 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 one only. When finished, they stop. Then, again, two. Another, two, 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 and this we count. And then pour up. When finished, they stop, two. And this way up to eight, you must count. <laughs> this is called green measure as counting. <laughs> Uh, just now the Sada says that when we meditate, we should uh, meditate in all bodily posture. So during uh, sitting, standing, walking or lying down, we also we must, we must con- uh, pay attention to a meditation object. Uh, then he, he, he says, uh, when, we, when we sit, we know how to meditate, but 
in uh, in other body posture how to meditate may we say please focus on the breath of the body in the same way he says uh, he says uh, when when we eat or we do other things like walking we do uh, when we do other activities we should be mindful of our uh, activity as well so when we eat we should be mindful of eating and uh, so in so there are two things one we have to be mindful of eating or doing other activities and the other thing is we have to to concentrate on our breath we have two objects how to uh, how should we do maybe this way our teaching is not our teaching <laughs> No Buddha's teaching. Buddha's teaching is there are four types of Sambhajana we had explained here last time. Hmm? The most important thing is now you are practicing Samadha. This is the Kochara Sambhajana, clear comprehension of result. When you are practicing Kochara Sambhajana or Samadha meditation practice, Every, in every bodily posture you must contemplate or you must pay attention to your Samatha meditation object such as Anabana only. This is mentioned in our Mahasati Patana Sutta commentary, etc. Okay, sharing merit. Hmm? Hmm. Asu Akhaya Vahang Hodu Idhami Bhunya Nibhana Sa Pachyo Hodu Idhami Bhunya Sabha Sadhana Pajima Tesave Mesama your questions will be answered this tomorrow talk. You should pay attention 
as bread or nimeka only. You should not pay attention to the characteristic. There are two types of characteristic. The characteristic of four elements and the characteristic of a nature, Dukkha, another. When you are practicing Anabana or when you are focusing on the Nimeda, you should not be addition to the four elements characteristic, such as hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness, flowing, cohesion, heat, and, heat and cold, heat and coldness, subordinate and pushing. These are four elements characteristic. If you pay attention to these characteristics, your meditation will be four elements meditation, not anapana meditation. So, Kamathana meditation object will be changing. Because of this reason, you should not pay attention to the characteristic of four elements also. Especially when you are practicing anapana. From the touching point, you should not pay attention to any other object, especially in your body. If you pay attention in your body, you, will, you can clearly see the characteristic of four elements. If you are practicing four elements meditation, you can pay attention to the characteristic of four elements. But if you want to practice anabana, you should not pay attention to the characteristic of four elements. Another important fact is you should not also contemplate the natural breath, in breath, nature, of breath, nature, etc. Or nimeda as nature, or dukkha, or nada. If you contemplate the natural breath, breath as nature to Karnada, the contemplation of nature to Karnada is Vipassana insight. Natural breath is not the object of Vipassana insight. If you gain the same four elements in your natural object and natural breath, then when your concentration develops further, then you can see small particles. If you analyze these small body gas, in each small body gas, there are nine types of materiality, such as earth element, water element, fire element, weight element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, and breathing sound. So these nine types of materiality are ultimate materiality. These ultimate materiality are the object of Vipassana insight. You can contemplate them as nature to Karnada because as soon as they arise, they pass away very, very quickly. So they are nature. They are always oppressed by rising and passing away, so they are to suffering. There is no permanent entity, permanent substance, so they are nature. They are always oppressed by rising and passing away, so they are to suffering. There is no permanent entity permanent substance. So they are nada, no self, no, no other. But without seeing Adhima materiality, if you contemplate natural breath as nature to nada, this is not real vipassana. This is only just superficial. So you should not contemplate the natural breath as nature to nada also. When you are concentrating on the Nimeda, you should not do much emphasis on the Nimeda. If you emphasize too much on the Nimeda, then you may see small particles, clubbers. If you see clubbers, these are not your meditation object. At the dying, if you want to practice anabana abdu, 
journal stage. Then please relax your mind. Slowly, small body gas will disappear and the nimeja as a compactness. You will see nimeja as a compactness. And then the please focus on the nimeja as nimeja or as breath. When you are focusing on the natural breath or nimeja, three important factors must be present in your mind. Number one is Chanda Z. Strong, powerful desire to concentrate on the nimeja is very important. If you are desire to concentrate on the nimeja, becomes less, the nimeja will disappear. So, at the day, strong, powerful desire of Z is necessary. Number two is PD Ravichan. When you are concentrating on the nimeja, you must concentrate on the Nimeda with Rapcharas mind. If there is no Rapcharas mind, then laziness will overwhelm to your mind. When laziness overwhelm to your mind, then your concentration will decrease and Nimeda also will disappear. So, because of this reason, Rapcharas mind is also important. Number three is sukha, happiness, happy feeling. When you are concentrated on the nimeda, that happiness also must be present. If you have no happy feeling, then Concentration also will be dull. Dull means concentration cannot develop further. But if you concentrate on the nimeja with happy feeling, then concentration will de improve slowly. When you are concentration improves, then slowly nimeja also will become Increase. Increase means from the gray smoking color to white color. Gray smoking color nimeja is called Parikamba nimeja, preliminary sign. White color nimeja like Kodomu is called Ogaha nimeja, learning sign. There may be different colors of Nimeda depending on perception of meditator. If meditator's perception change, the color of Nimeda also may change. But because of this reason, you should not emphasize color, you should pay attention as Nimeda only. While you are concentrated on the white color Nimeda, when your concentration develops further, then slowly Nimeda will become transparent body. Like morning star. That transparent Nimeda is called Padi Bhagat Nimeda counterpart sign. The Padi Bhagat Nimeda counterpart sign is the object of excess concentration to which Samadhi as well as the object of jhana concentration, absorption concentration. What is the difference between excess concentration and jhana absorption concentration? At the moment of excess concentration stage, frequently when got my moment, Abiyas, all stop. But in excess 
in uh, absorption concentration scales. There are no boiling up main scales. Why? Because in excess concentration scales, high jhana factors are not so strong enough to maintain concentration for a long time. But in absorption concentration stage, five jhana factors become powerful. Because of this reason, strong powerful jhana factors can maintain absorption concentration for a long time. Because of this reason, when many data reach absorption concentration stage, he can maintain his jhana concentration over the one hour, two hour, three hour, etc. But at the excess concentration stage, because, because of when that might say, then he can maintain his concentration for a long time. But uh, by channel factors, we dig up, we jara, we di, sukha, ikakata. We dig is initial obligation of the mind to the anabana patipaga limita object. We jara is the sustained obligation of the mind to the anabana patipaga limita object. PD is rapture on the Anabana Padibhaga Nimita object. Suga is happy feeling of Anabana Padibhaga Nimita object. Umbhaga and Eta is one point and rest on the Anabana Padibhaga Nimita object. When you are concentrating on the Anabana Padipaga Nimita counterpart side, you should try full absorption concentration many times. You should enter into jhana frequently for a long time. You should not reflect jhana patterns frequently. If you reflect jhana pradas frequently, jhana pradas will become cross. When jhana pradas become cross, your concentration will decrease. So because of this reason, beginners should not be entered into jhana many times. Reflecting jhana pradas must be less. In this way, we saw the manga, the path of purifications, Give instruction. Therefore, you should try to concentrate on the Anabana Badibhaga Nimita. You should end up jhana absorption at least successfully for three days. In each sitting, you should try your full absorption concentration at least two or three hours. After that only, you should reflect channel factors. How you should reflect channel factors? We will discuss next time. If there is any question, then you can ask. Sada, when we practice this, uh, must our sila must be, be perfect, and uh, our developments must be clear. Okay. When we practice all this uh, anapanasati, must the sila must be perfect. Okay. And uh, must our defilements uh, be totally clear, that means free from defilement. 
Today is not easy. <laughs> really, there are noble equal paths. Hmm? Among noble equal paths, Samawacha, right speech, Samagamanda, right patient, Samajiva, right livelihood. These three factors are the training of morality. So, if you gain accept noble equal path, you need to do the cessation of suffering. Then you must try to purify your virtue. Hold on. While you are practicing meditation, at least you must try to purify your virtue. Five hundred, while you are practicing Anapana, five hindrances are the enemy. If you get removed by hindrances, then your concentration will be close. One or two or many of hindrances are visited to your mind, then your concentration will decrease. But totally to destroy the violence is if you attain a hard stage, and then that only it is possible. But now in this stage, if you can remove temporarily, it is okay. This question is if uh, you will practice metta bhavana uh, very well, will we also have uh, uh, luck? You mean? Uh, metta bhavana. If you practice uh, metta bhavana very well, will we have luck? No real nimitta, as if nimitta only. <laughs> Meaning is number one, there are four types of persons. Number one is adapt to yourself. Number two is Pia, Dia ones. Number three is Michada, neutral ones. Number four is weary enemies of hatred persons. You must sit with these four types of persons gradually up to the Jana stage. If you, can, if, if you sit with that, do yourself, you cannot attain Jana. But the other three types of persons Dear ones, neutral ones, and enemies, or hatred ones. If you sit with do these three types of persons, you should try always to attain up to that channel. If you practice in this way, gain, gain, one day when you are with the bhavana, become powerful, then these four types of persons, to yourself, dear ones, neutral ones, and hatred ones, will be got equal. If they be got equal, and this equality is called as if nimitta only, <laughs> not real nimitta. Why? In this case, nimitta means the cause of powerful metta only. What is the powerful metta? If you can set metta to the all individuals, all beings, and do infinite universe, if you attain up to that jhana stage, such type of metta is powerful. Such type of metta can produce to be reborn in Brahmava. So, the, the previous hmm? nimitta, as if nimitta means, if you send metta to yourself, dhyavas, neutralas, and enemies, equally, that equivalent, hmm? We call this is breaking boundary, breaking barrier. Hmm? That breaking boundary or barrier of meta is called for higher powerful meta, supporting cause. Because of this reason, this is also called nimitta. In this case, nimitta means the cause of higher powerful meta. Good evening, Bhante. When we see the nimitta, is bright, spinning, uh, spinning right in front of you. I cannot seem to concentrate on my breath. When my eyes started to flicker, how should I solve this problem? Thank you. Uh, I think his question is something like this. Uh, when when he sees the dimita, uh, when the dimita is bright and is spinning, 
mean, in front of uh, in front of him, he can't concentrate on uh, the breath, and the uh, and the eye also started to flicker. Mm. So how should he solve uh, this problem? You should not pay attention to your eye. Please pocket eye. If you focus on the natural breath with your eye, Paponami that is coming. This habit produces such progress. So because of this reason, when you are practicing Anapana, please forget your eye. You should focus on your natural breath by mentally only. If you focus with your eye to the natural breath with close eye, then this habit will produce such problems. Hmm? Another is, Nimitta is another, the, breath is, uh, the light of wisdom is another. If the light of wisdom is a mere little bit far away from your nose field or upper leg, and then uh, if you focus on the breath, for so many leaders, they say they cannot focus on the breath object at that time. It is impossible. Your mind has power, mental power. Your mental power can choose every object. For example, when you are practicing every person, sometimes you practice, sometimes you contemplate a demon materiality as nature, sometimes yoga, sometimes nada. You can change. Sometimes you contemplate mentality, ultimate mentality. Sundance nature, sundance yoga, sundance another. You can change. It is impossible not to change. You cannot change, it is impossible. So you all might have power. You should use your will power in this case. If you give up, oh, I cannot concentrate, I cannot concentrate. If you give up in this way, your concentration cannot develop further. I will try. Buddha teach in this way. If you have enough confidence to the Buddha's teaching, then you should focus. It is possible. When the impossible, uh, if it is impossible, Buddha will never teach. So you should have enough confidence in the Buddha's teaching. Meditate. You see uh, light. You see in front of of him, although the, uh, his eyes are closed, uh, you see four white light, but the light is not at the nostril, it's only uh, in just covering the whole area in front of him. Is that Nirita uh, or light of this thing? Nirita was done only, not Nirita. Nirita is coming up from the nostril. Especially our breath is bigger Nirita. Light of wisdom is everywhere, in every direction surrounding your body. So here, little bit far away, this is light of wisdom. What is the light of wisdom? You are concentrated mind can produce, mind produce materiality. Among these materiality, there are eight types of material, in each club there are eight types of materiality. Among these eight types, there is higher element, Tejo. That Tejo is called temperature Utu. That temperature can produce new clubs, new generations, successfully for a long time. If you analyze these clubs, in each club there are also eight types of materiality. Among these eight types, there is also color. That color also bright depending on your concentration. When you are concentration, become powerful. The wisdom quality which is associated with that concentration also become powerful. When concentration and wisdom quality become power, then that wisdom quality can produce such a powerful light. But this temperature produced calabas light is not only internally but also externally. Because of this reason, if you see a little bit far away from your face, one type of color, that color is temperature produced materiality only. The color of temperature produced materiality. This is not 
This is the right of which can only not be limited.